taking a look at another type of malware, the worm. The worm is kind of like a virus, but not quite like a virus. A virus is a, a, a coding that must attach itself to an existing program, like we said before. It's kind of like a regular human virus or animal virus, where it has to have a host to replicate. Well, a worm is what we know as a standalone program. It doesn't need another program to replicate. It replicates itself. It goes off by itself. It travels from machine to machine via networks. And they commonly infect systems because of security flaws. So what winds up happening is somebody doesn't update their computer, and we'll talk about updating in this section on malware. They don't update their computers. There's a security flaw, and the worm has been designed to exploit to take advantage of that security flaw. And we can see massive, massive amounts of infections with worms. Probably one of the most infamous worms is the blaster worm. Now, I remember this was released back into the wild in August of 2008. At the time, I worked part-time for Best Buy. I was on the tech bench. This was before it became known as the Geek Squad. And if you've ever worked retail during the Christmas season, especially on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and if you're in another country, Black Friday is Friday after Thanksgiving here in America, where it's a massively huge shopping day, and retail stores are just absolutely mad, bonker, crazy, okay? Well, when this virus was released, it was like walking into Best Buy on Black Friday. We had a line of people from the bench, out the door, through the door, and around the building. We actually had to set up, you know, those barricade ropes, so the line ropes, so people could stand in line to drop off their computers. We had computers on the floors. We had computers stacked on each other. We had computers on the shelf. I mean, we had a problem getting around the bench itself because we had so many computers infected over just two days that we it was it was bonkers okay and so this was the blaster worm it was also known as the w32 blaster now here's the funny part it was or funny you know as in not really funny but here's the ironic part i should say it was released in august of 2003 microsoft had released a patch because they discovered the security flaw they had released a free patch that you could have downloaded for your computer installed on your computer and been immune to the swarm on July 16th, 2003. So if people had updated their computers, they would not have gotten this worm. It was one of the fastest spreading worms to date. It hit over 180,000 computers within two days. By the end of a week, it was estimated that over 400,000 computers were infected, and the reported cost was around $320 million, million dollars to fix. So we will talk about hardening the computer later on in this section, but just so you can understand some of the importance of why you need to make sure your computer is up to date. In the next video, we're going to take a look at spyware.